Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to create and use Corona Proxies. When we use heavy polygon models in our scenes, the viewport navigation can feel slow. This is problematic for big scenes with many high polygon objects like trees, cars, or even furniture. Imagine if you need to create 100 copies of a tree with 1 million polygons. Navigating a scene with 100 million polygons is almost impossible. To fix this, we can convert the objects to a Corona Proxy. This is an external file that is loaded at render time only. It does not speed up the rendering or increase the quality, but it can help us working with heavy scenes. The fastest way to create a Corona Proxy, and the one I recommend, is by using the Corona Proxy Exporter. This will allow us to convert multiple objects at the same time, or even collapse the objects into a single proxy. We're going to start by selecting the objects we want to convert to a proxy. In this example, we're going to select this card which includes 40 different objects. After this, we're going to open the Corona Exporter screen. To do this, click the Run Corona Proxy Exporter button in the Corona toolbar, or right-click in the viewport and select the Corona Proxy Exporter from the Quad menu. In the Output Options section, we're going to click the Folder Path button. This is going to open a new screen where we can select the folder path for our proxies. We have two different options to create proxies. Export each node to a separate proxy file is going to export each of the selected objects as a proxy. In this case, if we select it, it's going to create 40 different files, one for each selected object. The name of the proxy is going to be the same as the name of the object. With this option, we also have the animated section active. If the objects have any animation, we need to check the animated option and select the frame range. Something to take into consideration is that the file size is going to increase depending on the number of frames. As we want to collapse all the objects, we're going to select the other option, collapse and export to single proxy file. We can see that the animated option is disabled and the combined proxy name is added automatically with the name of the group, but we can also change it if we need a different name for the proxy. The next section is the proxy properties. The first option is the cache in RAM. If this option is selected, the proxy will be kept in the RAM memory after it's loaded and will not be flushed between renders. This can speed up the scene parsing time, but it's going to increase the RAM usage, so we are going to keep it off. If the replace source object option is enabled, the original object will be deleted from the scene. I recommend to keep this option enabled all the time. Warn for existing CGO files is going to show a warning if a file with the same name is already saved in the folder. I recommend to keep this on all the time to avoid overriding the proxies. We can keep the proxy name prefix using the default CRP underscore. Any new proxy we create is going to have this before the proxy name. For the viewport visualization method, we're going to select the point cloud and for the display percentage, any number between 5 to 10%. After this, click the export selected objects to create a proxy. Using this option, we can see that after creating the proxy, we still have the initial group of the card. And if we open it, the proxy has the name we specified in the proxy exporter, CRP underscore, and then the combined proxy name. In the Corona proxy settings, we can change some of the options we selected in the exporter. As we use the Corona Proxy Exporter, the pick from scene is going to be disabled. What this button does is to allow us to select any object from the scene and convert it to a proxy. But I recommend to always use the Corona Proxy Exporter. The Load From File button will allow us to select a different proxy. One problem with this option is that the proxy is going to be loaded without materials. If you want to load a previously created proxy, I recommend merging the proxy from a 3D match scene instead of this option. In the viewport display method, we can change how the proxy is displayed in the scene. We can select from four different options, solid bonding bot, wire bonding bot, full mesh, which I don't recommend unless there is a specific reason you want to see the full mesh. And point cloud, this is the one we are going to use most of the time and the one I recommend. We can change the cloud percentage to any number between 0 to 100%. For most objects, we can use 10%. Keeping memory is the same as the cache in RAM option, so we are going to keep this unchecked. Reload from this is going to reload the proxy. 
The batch convert will allow us to convert all the proxy format to the new CGO format. To use it, press the batch convert button, select the folder with the old proxies, and this will convert any proxy to the new CGO format. The duplicate to mesh option is going to create a mesh of the proxy. This is a really helpful option in case we want to modify the geometry. Another way to do it is to change the proxy visibility to mesh and select the convert to mesh option from the quad menu. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.